Hey, what's going on guys, McGinley Customs here. Today I'm going to be going over a video on how to make reflective liveries like the picture on the screen right now. Now, it is incredibly simple, but some people might find it a bit complex. Um, so what you're going to want to have first is your skin. So I'm going to use this Florida skin here, this like Florida law friendly. <coughs> and I'm going to make these parts uh this is the bumper here oh this is the bumper here i want to make these here and these here all reflective so how we're going to do that is we need to make another skin for it now i'm just going to make a copy of this because i actually need this file and i don't want to mess it up <laughs> and i'm just going to rename it i don't know uh let's just name it charger underscore sign underscore one oops that's not the right one all right so now that you've got your livery made i don't i don't really make liveries i had someone make this for me so once you've got your livery made with your reflective chevrons and not reflective yet so what you're going to need to do now is you want to make a copy and then rename it to i don't know uh charger reflect and then you want to edit it with anything that you can delete or use a magic wand tool with just anything like that i'm going to use paint.net that's the thing that i've sticked with my whole entire you know time doing modeling and you want to get a magic wand tool or whatever you guys use lasso tool i don't care and you want to grab anything that you want to be reflective now i just want these chevrons to be reflective and just the chevrons so i'm going to select each chevron one by one there we go i'm just going to copy it i'm going to add it to a new layer and then delete that now if you've done it all right you should just have a plain canvas and transparent cam a transparent canvas with just reflective liveries now i recommend running over the magic wand tool with a low tolerance one more time just to get rid of them black edges and stuff just make it you know try and get it as accurate as you possibly can there you go same on this side and there we go so now now that we've done this we just want to save it and if you've done everything correctly, you should have your livery and your reflective transparent livery. Now what you want to do is you want to get your car. So I'm going to load up Zmodeler and I'll see you in the program. Okay guys, so now we are in Zmodeler and we have our model here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your texture browser. And you want to find your, your livery. So my one's called livery underscore charger or whatever it is. I'm so you just want to replace it with the one that you made earlier, not the reflective one, just the normal one. Now, if you've done that right, then give me a second here, I need to just change a couple of things on this vehicle because for some reason it has a diffuse colour. So if your car ever ends up like this, you just want to change the diffuse colour. Like that. There we go. So we have the chevrons on the back here. So we're not done there. We haven't done everything. So now we're going to go into our material browser by clicking this little colourful ball up here. And I'm going to click new material. Now your material should be made right at the bottom. Now you want to just rename it to, uh, it can be renamed to anything, but just, you know, so you know what you're naming it to. You just want to make it anything like reflective or anything like that. It really doesn't matter. Now, once you've done that, you just want to come up to this little Pac-Man logo while having the reflective material selected. I'm going to go to GTAV vehicle generic and decal do not choose decal 2 otherwise it will not be as reflective as decal is so once you've selected that we're going to move this material all the way to the top just behind default material now we're going to press this little notepad icon while having the reflective material selected now we want to click on the detail texture map and you just want to add the texture for the reflective livery so that was charger reflect so in zmodeler it might import to be just some white canvas with your livery over here that's perfectly fine i should see modeler's way of going hey look this is a transparent livery so now that we've done that we want to <coughs> just want to go over everything else here make sure on the mud car we have the charger or whatever dirt map this vehicle is using i know this vehicle has a custom dirt map called chrb dirt uh, this is for a wheel. We're just going to choose a uh, blank. 
this isn't important, guys. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it so it looks better in Z-Mod. And then spec map, we want to make it small. Small spec map there. And there we go. And we have an environmental on it. So now that we've done that, we are completely done with making the material. The material is all made. Now, your vehicle is still not reflective. So what you're going to have to do now is you want to copy the parts that have the reflective livery on it. Now, in my case, it is just the rear bumper. Let me see if I can find that here. Here it is. It's just the rear bumper that I have the reflective chevrons on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that bumper. And then I'm going to untick the original one. And I'm just going to right click the copied one. Go to linking and unlink it. Now you've done that, you should just have one bumper. And you should have police two unselected. So this should be outside of the police two hierarchy. So once you've done that, you want to go to polygon mode. <coughs> and you want to click on it. Now, you want to select the polygons that you have your chevron on. For example, if I select this polygon with separated and I go to display and hide, you'll see that it hides them chevrons there. Now that is what we want because we need to only select the polys that we are using, otherwise your vehicle size will be quite big and you're wasting, you know, poly size that you could use for ions or anything. So you just want to try and make it, you know, as less polys as you can. So I got rid of them chevrons. Now I need to get rid of these chevrons here for the little colourful reflective bit. And now I've done that. Now I understand some cars are different. You're just going to have to have a player on with all the select tools and try and select all the chevrons. Uh, select all the polygons that hold on the chevrons. Now if you want to check that you've got them all right again. You just want to click the show tool after hiding them. And then just hide them again. And then show them again. And now if you're absolutely certain you've selected everything. You want to go to modify and detach. Now that you've done that you can delete that bumper there. And you should just be left with your chevrons and a bit of black paint. Now. We want to delete, again, the excess uh, polygons because it's just taking up file size and it doesn't need to. Now, it isn't extremely important to delete all these polygons. But, you know, if you if, you're, like, if your file size is already low as it is, which mine is, you don't really have to. But I recommend it if you have a high file size car. So, you're probably wondering, like, oh, is the whole thing going to be reflective? No, that's why we made the transparent livery. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our material browser, or you can do it in the properties. We're going to go to the properties, actually. We want to select this rear bumper. I'm going to go to properties, polygons, and you want to change the material to reflective. Now, if it goes transparent, you've done it right. It's perfect. So, you're probably wondering why your livery isn't there anymore, why your chevrons aren't there. That is because you have to set it to the map. I don't know how to explain it very well, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So all you want to do if this happens is you want to go to Mapping, Edit UV, Generate New, that is extremely important. Copy from Channel 2, and then you want to make it on the reflective decal. Also remember to put your, <laughs> remember to put your reflective liver in, like I forgot here. And now that should be set. There we go. Now if, it, if you've done all of that and it came out blank, like I just did then, I made an error on my side. You need to make sure you have your reflective material, your reflective texture inside of the detail texture map inside of the material. Now that you've done that, all you really want to do is you just want to center the axis so it doesn't swing around everywhere when you're driving. And then you can attach it to the bumper. I like to make it its own, uh, its own, you know, element in the hierarchy. So we're just going to copy it after we, you know, center the axes and stuff so it doesn't swing around. And I'm just going to rename it to misc underscore reflect. So now that we've done that, we're just going to throw that in there. And we're going to LOD it. Shouldn't take too long to LOD it. Alrighty, so now that you've done that, you want to just show all. And if one part of your bumper is lighter than the rest of it, then you've done it right. As you can see, it is lighter here than it is there. That is because the reflective chevron is over the vehicle. If you turn the reflective chevron off, you'll see that it changes colour. You need to make sure that when it's on, it gets tinted or diluted, whatever you want to say. So now that you've done that, you just want to put it inside of the, uh, the rear bumper element in the hierarchy. So when you, you know, if your bumper falls off, it will fall off with it. 
So I'm going to put that to the top of the hierarchy. And now we are pretty much done. All we really have to do now is we need to put it inside of our inside of our YTD in OpenIV. So it all works perfectly fine guys as you saw at the beginning of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you need help. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.